This YouTube channel earns anywhere from $2,000 to $46,000 every single month. And they've done this by posting faceless videos where they read scary stories. In fact, I found four other channels, new and old, who do the exact same thing and are currently making decent money. And in this video, I'll show you exactly how you can recreate these channels using AI. So the first thing you'd need to do is get ideas for your stories. In order to do this, you'd want to come over to ChatGPT. And as you can see, I'm using 3.5, which is available for free. And then you want to ask it this prompt. Give me five titles for scary stories around the theme of and then you can insert your theme now the reasons why i recommend asking your prompt like this instead of just give me five scary stories in general is because by telling it the type of theme you get to have a little bit of creative input into the options that it give you so i'm going to go with scary stories about the forest and then hit enter and as you can see it's given me five different titles for scary stories like i asked it for now when you get the options you want to read through them but if you don't like any of the options that it gave to you then you can simply ask it for more by asking it this prompt give me five more and then as you can see it's going to go ahead and give me five more different options now once you have these options you're going to read through them and find one that you would like to generate your story about so from reading my own list i actually like number two the lost souls of ravenwood forest because just lost souls is giving ghosts and ghosts just gives me the creeps so now that you have the title the type of story you want to create now you need to actually generate that story and wait 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 it's super easy to do because you're going to have chat gpt do this as well well by using one prompt and in order to generate the stories we're going to ask ChatGPT this prompt now it looks a little bit long but before you're like oh no this is too long just hang in there you'll see why this prompt is very effective so the prompt says generate me a scary story using and here you want to put the number and the name of which option that you wanted to generate the story about so in this case remember i chose number two so we're going to say number two and then i'm also going to copy the name of the story now the reason why i want to do this because as you can see we have number two hair but we also have number two hair so that's also why you want to copy copy the name of the story so it knows specifically which one you're talking about and then with a read time speaking at and then you want to just say how fast will the voiceover be how fast the story will be so i'll just say a fast pace and then that is and then you have to insert the length of your video now when it comes to the length of the video you can create videos that are 30 minutes long that are five minutes long that are even three hours long it all depends on what you want to create and what your audience would prefer so this is a part that you would have to experiment with but for the sake of the tutorial i'm going to ask it to create one that's two minutes long continuing the story should and then this is where you give a brief explanation of what you want your story to be about by doing it this way you're able to add your own creative touch your own creative sprinkle sprinkle into your story so at least you could have some input in making your story the best possible story ever and again you want to generate something that somebody else would actually want to listen to to actually get scared to so what's better than putting your own little creative touch into it so as you can see i've said the story should be suspenseful and have a bone chilling plot twist at the end that will make the listener's skin crawl and i'm also telling it can it include jump scares you can say it include ghosts include monsters include children <laughs> i know some people think children are scary and then you're going to say use and then insert the type of language so in my case i wanted to use sophisticated language and then once you've done that hit enter and fair not remember you could use this exact prompt template for your own stories that's why i'm showing it to you now as you can see it's gone ahead and generated us a, a story so at this point what you want to do is read the story and make sure it's actually good make sure that ChatGPT followed through with exactly what you asked it for. Now, once it's finished generating, if you don't like certain parts of it or even the whole thing, then don't feel like, oh man, like, do I have to go edit this myself? No, you don't. You don't have to do that because, again, you're using AI. So you could actually go about editing it into the perfect story using these three different prompts. So the first one is this one regenerate and make it more. And then you would say what you'd want the story to be more of. So, for example, suspenseful. Or the second way you can go about editing this story is let's just say you didn't like some something specific from paragraph two then you can go ahead and ask it this prompt generate and change and then you can say what you want it to change so in this case change paragraph two to make it more xyz and lastly the third way you can go about editing this story is by asking this prompt regenerate and add in say what you want to be added into the plot and then this is where you can tell it specifically what you'd want to add into your plot if it's not already there but again remember you don't need to edit it any further these prompts are just if you want to if you've read this and you totally have happy with it now you can move on to the second part don't spend so long on this all you need to do is ensure that your story is actually something that if you were interested in scary stories you would find intriguing or interesting because if you don't even think it's actually scary then why would people who are interested in scary stories find it scary you won't get any views and again if you don't get any views you won't get any money now the next thing you need to do is actually create the video and don't you worry this part is actually fairly simple in order to do this you can go ahead and use any preferred editor that you like but i recommend you 
use in video because it will make this process super simple and you could find a link for it in the description below but once on in video ensuring that you're in the dashboard section what you want to do is click over here where it says editor and then ensure you click landscape and why you want to click landscape is because you are creating a youtube video and then it's going to open this page you'll x this and then this logo section you can just x this out as well and now you have this blank scene the first thing you want to do for your video is to add in the voiceover of the story now in order to do this part there's actually three different ways you can go about doing it i'll show you each of them and then you can decide which one you prefer to do so the first way you can go about generating the voiceover is actually by using 11 labs so in order to get to 11 labs you can find a link in the description and then once on 11 labs you want to ensure that you click where it says speech synthesis now once on this page this is where you can go about generating your voice so the first thing you need to do is actually input your story into the scenery in order to do this you're going to come on over to chat gpt and then you're simply going to copy your entire story then you're going to come back to 11 labs and then paste it in now as you can see it has these spaces in between just note well if you leave them it will pause for each of these different scenes so i don't want it to do that so i'm simply going to take out all these spaces so that it would say it's in more of like a tenuous paragraphs now once you've imported in your story what you need to do is look here where it says settings and then you need to edit these three settings so the first thing you need to do is choose your voice in order to find a voice it's quite simple you press on the, the drop down arrow and there are many different voices you can choose from and the perfect thing about this is that it gives you a bit of an understanding of what the voices will sound like and what they are used for so in this case as you can see this is an american deep narration voice now if this is something you think you would like then you can hit play to actually see what it sounds like so you're going to go through this list and listen to a bunch of them and then see which one you think sounds like the best one for your scary story meaning you'd want a deep chilling voice excuse me did that come out of my mouth let's not talk about it well begun is half done that's very deep and very scary i think that'll be perfect so i'm simply just going to click onto it and as you can see it's added it in as the voice then if you want to edit your voice even further you could come on over to the voice settings and as you can see there's three different settings you can play with and then once you've done that now all you need to do is hit generate so that 11 labs can begin generating your story for you once 11 labs is done you can simply click over here where it says download to download your voice so now that you have your voice over you can get back to the process of creating the video so what you'd want to do is come back over to in video and then you want to ensure that you've clicked uploads over here you can click onto it and then you can upload the voiceover that we just downloaded from 11 labs now once it's uploaded as you can see it's going to show on this part and in order to use it you simply need to click where it says add as a layer and now as you can see the voiceover has been added in now the second way you can go about adding in the voiceover of the story is by using in video itself as you can see there is this option here that says voiceover now if i delete this the option disappears it's because you don't have anything in the scene so you can just head over to where it says videos and just grab any random scenery just for a placeholder so that the setting can show up and then once you can see the setting now you want to click onto voiceover and then you can go to where it says automated text to speech and now you can have nvidia generate the entire voiceover for you so it'd be the same exact thing like what you did in 11 labs you'd come back over to chat gpt and then you would copy the story come back over to nvidia and you see where it says enter your text here you would insert your text delete the spaces in between because trust me it's going to be long pauses if you keep it there and then once you've done that you can then use the three settings over here to edit your voice then once you have your settings done then all you need to do is click where it says generate voiceover and then as you can see it has generated us the voiceover so we can hit preview to see what it sounds like as the moon cast an eerie pallor over the dense canopy of ravenwood forest if you're satisfied with that all you need to do is hit add and then as you can see it will be added into the canvas and then you can just go ahead and delete this image because you don't need this one and the third way you can go about generating a voiceover is actually just by using your own voice in order to record your own voice what you'd want to do is click where it says voiceover and then you would click where it says record voiceover and then before you hit record you actually need to be able to see your script so i recommend coming back to chat gbt and then maybe trying to take a picture of your script so now you'd be able to click where it says record it's gonna take three seconds and then you can begin seeing the script and then once you're done you simply click stop and then you hit add and then just like that my voiceover has now been added into my scenery so let's delete the first one and then see what this one sounds like a sense of foreboding okay okay that's enough so as of these three options you can go ahead and choose whichever way you prefer to insert your voiceover can you guess which one i'm going to choose that's right 11 labs it just sounds the best for me in this instance and now the voiceover aspect is done great job your video is coming together wonderfully so now the next thing you need to do is add in the stock footage for your video when it comes to editing the stock footage it's actually super easy so 
So you've come this far in the video. Do not give up right now. So from here, you can decide whether you want to add stock videos or stock images. In our case, we're going to be using stock videos. And in order to find videos that fit well with your scenery, all you need to do is come back over to ChatGPT. And what I recommend you do is add in a new stock footage for each different little paragraph. Now, what you want to do is read the paragraph and see what element you think would go well with it. So the first thing this paragraph talks about is the moon. So I know, okay, hmm. I'm just going to use the moon for the first image. So what I'm going to do is ensure that I've clicked videos. I'm going to search for moon at night. And now as you can see, it's given me so many different options to choose from. So I can just look through this by putting my mouse over it and then see which one I think fits well in my video. So in my case, I like this one. And in order to add it into my video, all I need to do is click where it says click to add as a layer and then click add. And now you, as you can see, it's added into my scene. And now that it's added in, as you can see, it is pretty long. So I need to find where my paragraph stops so that I can also stop the footage. So I would just listen until I hear it gets to that part, which is right here as ancient as time itself, just like that. And then when I approach this part, I'm simply going to bring this down here. And then that is how simple it is to add in your stock clips. And now I know you see it showing that the audio isn't there. Don't worry about this. Every time you add in a new stock footage, it will extend this. So I will go ahead and do the same thing for my next footage. I would come back over to ChatGPT, read this paragraph, see what footage I can add that would align with this. So it's talking about about a guy going into the forest so let's see if i can find something in the forest so i'm going to search for in this time flashlights in forest as you can see there's a plethora of images we can find so i like this one over here so i'm going to click onto it it's going to open this page click add as you can see it's been added in like i told you i can just bring it down so it's in line with this one and then i'm just going to stretch it to ensure that it fits the entire screen and now as you can see like i said it has extended over with our audio and now i'm going to listen till i hear the ending of my paragraph so that i can either crop my image or extend it and you see if i extend it you see that the rest of the audio is missing then all you do is extend your audio as well it's that simple let's not overthink this process it's as simple as reading finding a, an image searching for it and adding it in so you want to repeat this process for every single paragraph or every two or three paragraphs however you choose to create your video so now as you can see i've added in all the different stock footage that i would use for my video and that honestly probably took me just about 10 minutes to do so don't worry it won't take you long at all to do this process so at this point you're only missing about one last thing to do for your video to make the scariness complete add in in the scary music in order to do this it's super simple what you want to do is come on over to the side here where you see it says music and then it's going to take you to this section where all you really want to do is search for the type of music you want for your video so in my case i want some scary music let's see if they have something like that as you can see they're showing me many different options so what you want to do is click play and listen to each of them and then see which one fits best into your video so when you find the one you like in order to add it to your scene all you need to do is ensure that your playhead is at zero and and then you want to click on this plus button to add it as a layer and now as you can see it's added it in and it's also looped the sound and from here you're not done because the music would be way too loud and overpowering to the voice instead you need to reduce the sound of this audio in order to do this you want to click onto it and then you see where it says volume and fade you want to click onto this and then you want to reduce this the perfect volume i notice is negative 23.4 this may be different for you but all you need to do is play the volume and see what it sounds like just ensure that it's not overpowering the voiceover because you need to actually hear the scary story but once you've done that you've done everything you need to do in order to edit your video but you can take it one step further if you want and edit your clips even further now this is not necessary but if you want to you can edit your video further by adding in some text if you want by adjusting the colors but once you're satisfied you want to just hit play and see what your video looks like and once you're satisfied with it all you need to do now is download your video to your computer in order to do this you want to click where it says export and then ensure that you have 1080p selected and then hit exports now i know you're probably saying okay monique but like what does this even look like like is this method even good is this method even decent well i will let you decide this for yourself let's take a look at one of mr nightmare's videos a woman named karen ironically it was an unusually long drive away about 15 minutes most orders come locally around the area, like five minutes away on average. So looking at his video, as you can see, it really just consists of images, a really deep and intriguing voiceover, and some slight background music. Did we accomplish that with our video? Did we even hit even a little bit close to that? You tell me. We decided to pack up and leave, but the stalker had other plans. It started circling our camp, staying just out of reach of our flashlights. Panic set in as we realized there was no way out. We were surrounded. 
as you can see i think with our video we did a pretty great job and i think that if you follow these steps you can also do a pretty great job with this and have potential success with your channel but now for the important question how exactly do you actually grow your channel well with these types of channels i'll be completely honest you need to be looking at posting at least three times a week or even posting every single day to really experience huge growth in regards to video length this is something you need to experiment with and see what works best on your channels there's many channels which do this which gains lots of views from videos that are about five minutes long but then i also see there's channels which get immense views from making videos that are anywhere to even an hour long so in regards to how much time you can put into this and what works best experiment with your own channel and then find the perfect routine for yourself and lastly for you to really experience growth with this the secret is to try to be unique try to make your page something that stands out so for example on your page you can maybe only focus on ghost stories or be the channel that posts super long videos or be the channel that posts super scary videos that make you have like chills try to be unique and find something that you could do that the other channels are not doing that can give you an edge so that you can be successful with this so if you want to create this channel now you know how or if you want to learn more from me then you need to check out this other video on my channel